Um, what's good, YouTube family? Before we get started, man, hit that like button, hit that share button, subscribe to the channel, man, show some love, man. Most definitely, it's for free, so just look at that like, tap that like, and continue this video to roll it. This is a brand new update, man. I'm definitely going to talk about it when we do the live show tomorrow. 051 Melly, man, it's kind of sad, but 051 Melly literally told his sister the prophecies was about to happen to him. Literally two days before 051 Melly got killed, he talked to his sister and explained she's going to have to look after the kids. Because if a lot of you people don't know, 051 Melly, baby mama, was the lady who got split in half by the um, Chicago train. You know, in the transit system. So, uh, a lot of people don't know that. The kids of 051 Melly lost their mom and dad within a month. I already told y'all that in the last couple of videos last month. But, yes, the kids lost their parents in a month. And 051 Melly told his sister she was going to have to look after the kids. And when she asked him, she said on her live that she took down. When she asked him, boy, she was in her feelings. When you sip, the truth come out. She said her brother didn't trust no niggas around him like that. And it was his own team that was about to get him because he's been getting certain messages he ain't been sharing with nobody like that. And there's been messages telling him that he's going to die. And she said when he told her that, you know, she was not crying or nothing like that. But she was like, what? Explain deeper. And he was talking about his friends. So when you see the whole Jaro City, STL and all that, y'all trying to blame Front Street for that nigga Melly to get touched. But the nigga had inside beef. In-house beef. Why do you think the backdoor party happened the way it happened? The nigga was going to get set up. But Melly knew. Melly knew what was about to happen. He knew he was going to get set up sometime or later around that time frame. You know what I'm saying? But it's like the wolf in him because he is the hunter. He's not the prey that get hunted. He is the hunter. But niggas forget hunters can turn into prey and get hunted at any given minute and second. That's why I'm mad at Melly. I wish he, he was on his P's and Q's that day. But you know when you're having a good time, you sipping. You drinking, you're around certain people you consider day ones. Your mind could, it's, it's easy to slip up. Easy, everybody can get caught lacking. It's called being a motherfucking human. We ain't perfect. So I feel when he told his sister that, who was he talking about? Who was Melly talking about when he told his sister his own people about to get him? You feel me? Is it all the members of the 051 camp? The YM camp? What is it, young money? Is it niggas from Jaro, St. Lawrence? You know what I'm saying? From FBG and them, like, what was it? He didn't go in detail. What his sister didn't go in detail. She just got real saucy and started spitting out. She said, oh, he didn't like none of y'all. That's what she said, y'all. Don't get mad at me. She said, oh, five women didn't like none of them. In fact, she went deeper and said if he had his turn, a lot of dudes would have been dropped right now, too. So it ain't like Melly was on some whole type shit. Melly was ready to go to war type shit. And he knew who his ops Inside house was, i.e., meaning he knew his snakes. He just waited too long to make his move, and and I, I don't pick sides over here, so I'm not gonna tell y'all. I wish he would have make his move sooner, because I'm pretty sure y'all fans are really gonna be like, why didn't he make his move sooner? But like I'm telling y'all, when you're at a party, your friends, even if you're on your p's and q's, you can still get slipping on your p's and q's, especially in a situation you get trapped like that. A party, and it's, it's more than just the four walls only. You got different faces. You got all hella shit. Music, niggas on pills, popping in molly, all that type shit. So shit, get your mindset fucked up. If you ask me, and I know I get down like a Melly or a Nooski or all these people in Chicago, all these hitters, bro. I would never go to no damn house party, let alone the club. I already wouldn't go to a club. It ain't because I'm scary or nothing like that. I got to move smart. That ain't moving smart. If y'all love Melly and rock with Melly, y'all got to keep it a stack. That was not a smart move by Melly. I understand we rock with him. We support what Melly do. He ain't even a rapper and we support him. But I feel like you're just saying you support the murders only. No, fam. I mean, and if you do support the murders only, that's on you. Who am I to judge? I'm just saying, call it like it is. The nigga was slipping and his sister exposed a whole lot. Hey, my suggestion to Melly's sister, stay off the gram for a little bit. I know you deleted the video, but these are the YouTubers. They got YouTubers who just watch his niggas' Instagrams all day and screen record that shit. But it's crazy. Yeah, the sister said Melly knew about the snake moves. And Melly wasn't off his P's and Q's. He was on his P's and Q's. So y'all like, share, and subscribe. I'll give, give y'all more updates, information. Y'all rock with our small hip-hop. I'm your God bless one, man. One love, peace, and stay blessed, man.